if you don't use it, you lose it, or to rest is to rust. Have you heard those sayings before? The same is true for horses as well as people. It's important to take all of our joints through a full range of movement on a regular basis to help maintain joint mobility and health. And this is a principle that we can use with horses in the therapy work that we do. However, it's important in order to be able to take a joint through a full range of movement. First of all, we need to know what the anatomical normal range of movement is for every single joint in the horse's body. And this is something that we will look at on this CPD course for professional therapists. In order to move each joint, we need to know what is the anatomical normal range of movement. We need to know which exercises and techniques we can use to try and almost isolate the movement in each of the joints within the horse's body. And we need to know that before we can then start to look at variations between different horses and know when something has got a reduced range of movement. But the thing is, joint movement isn't just about moving the joint. It also affects the joint capsules, tendons, ligaments, muscles, and fascia. So on this course, we'll be looking at, yes, joint mobilizations for all the joints within the horse's body, but actually these could be used as tests as well as therapeutic exercises and tests both for the joint and for the soft tissue structures as well. This is one of my favorite uh, two-day courses for professional therapists. I do hope you'll be able to join me.